Hey guys, uh, welcome to your weekend astrology. Uh, this is for August 7th, 8th, and 9th. Um, currently, the moon is in the sign of Aries. So very, very dynamic, bold, aggressive energy this weekend. Uh, we're feeling very, very moved to take action, um, to maybe change things up, to start some new stuff. And what is thwarting us is the um, square that's happening with Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter right now. Um, you'll continually hear me mentioning these in these videos because um, this is a really, really tough conjunction and it's happening for a while. Um, I think it's still gonna be in place until October and they'll eventually start moving away from each other very slowly um, because they're all very slow moving planets. So we have uh, Mars, basically the little kid, whining to do stuff that wants to be a part of things, that wants to, um, you know, start working on things, be busy. Mars doesn't like to be bored, uh, just like a kid. And, um, you know, it's a bit stifled right now because those big planet energies are more like the, the father figures, um, government, society, um, and Jupiter is also branching out into new directions too. So it's going in like very bold new directions where Mars is more about um, doing things. Jupiter is more about big movement. So when we're talking about big life changes right now, um, they may be happening, but they're happening in not the easiest way. Maybe we're forced into changing our home environment. We just got through cancer season um, and you know, and so we're being forced to kind of change our daily life, our structure um, with all these planetary influences and COVID, you know, which is a big byproduct of all of that. So um, yeah, you'll continue to hear more and more about that stuff um, because it is magnifying, intensifying everything that's happening now. So if you feel like you didn't really feel astrological transits as much as you do now, that's because they are much more intense than normal and you are not alone. We're all feeling it in a lot of ways. So um, this weekend, you know, really not the easiest weekend. Unfortunately, um, we like things to be good and fun during Leo season, that fire energy. And sure, Mars likes to have fun, fire and fire energy. You know, they know each other well and they like to participate. They like, they love to play. Um, however, with that tough square that Mars is making to Saturn, Jupiter, and Pluto, um, you know, the actions that we're taking, um, we're kind of being told no, you know, like, so if you find that the stuff you're trying to do this weekend and even this week, um, you just keep hitting wall after wall, that's what it is. <laughs> so it's like we, we have the ability to... Um, do things to really kind of take control of our to-do list, Mercury moving into Leo, um, allowing us maybe some organization of thoughts and clarity. Um, but, you know, again, that big energy is stifling us a bit. And so if you're being told no, if um, there's just a lot of difficulties coming in the things that you're doing right now, that is totally normal. Uh, we'll subside in a little bit. Mars will be moving out of that tough aspect um, maybe in a few weeks, uh, but right now we're still kind of in the thick of it. And so the moon being in um, Aries as well, if you guys didn't already know, Mars is in Aries, which is where it loves to be. Um, very, very quick, fast energy. Um, so when we think of doing something, we do it right away. We have that initial instinct and we don't want to sit on it. We want to uh, get up and just keep doing. So, you know, there's good and bad to that. There is, it's not always appropriate to take action and especially like with all of these things still in retrograde, still doing deep work, we have that kind of buffer. So it's like we're waiting for the computer screen to like just load and load and load. Um, but maybe we are getting impatient and we just keep hitting refresh instead of letting it do its thing the first time around. So if you find that, um, you know, you just continually push things, 
um, instead of just waiting, you're gonna find even more resistance. Um, but that's kind of what we're all working with. So there's not really a solution to that. Um, just try your best to be patient. I know it's very hard. Um, luckily Leo is fixed, so they are a little better with, um, you know, kind of waiting, but you know, when they see something and it's, it's bright and it's like a neon sign flickering at them, they're gonna say it. They're gonna act on it because they are fire and fire is action, fire is instinct like animal qualities and so we are very responsive and aware of what's going on around us when we are taking on fire energy um, and so the moon is going to be uh, in Aries pretty much the whole weekend um, so things like you know taking action uh, working out um, being more physical uh, is stuff that we're facing this weekend so doing a lot of exercises getting out, um, maybe trying to put some fun into the mix, playing some games, um, you know, connecting to your inner child is always a good rule of thought, especially when there is so much that we feel like we don't have power over. Um, we feel, you know, um, you know, like, like things are out of control. Maybe do some things that, that give you some creative spirit, um, that light, that fire, that reignite, you know, stuff that you really like to do when you were younger um, and can maybe still do as an adult, like an activity, a hobby, um, things to kind of keep you um, energized, um, but not where you're just putting out a lot of like, you know, friction, um, impatience, things like that. So um, Friday, uh, today, I'm trying to get this out to you guys ASAP. Um, Friday, so Venus just moved into Cancer um, a few hours ago, and so we are going from the sign of Gemini into Cancer. So Venus is bringing its, its beauty, um, its materialistic sensibilities into the home. So again, tying back to big life changes, that can very well mean that you are spending more money on your home environment, which could imply that you are moving, um, maybe you're renovating your space, maybe you're taking on a roommate, um, something in that capacity. Maybe you're visiting family. So you're taking a trip to go see family members, loved ones, um, things that give you comfort. So we are prioritizing our money spending on um, pillows, blankets, food. Maybe we're having some fancy uh, meals this weekend. We're gonna order um, a little more above our, our normal price range. Uh, we want to kind of indulge ourselves this weekend. Um, and, you know, in, in the coming weeks, as Venus is going to be moving through that sign, um, you know, we're, we're going to be getting a little fancier with our, our tastes um, and what we're putting into our bodies. And um, for relationships, uh, what I really want to talk about is Venus in Cancer is like, it's good and bad. You know, it, it brings attention to um, what makes us feel secure. And not only is that the surroundings, our home environment, um, the food that we're eating, um, that we really, really like, that um, makes us feel good, or maybe it's just very indulgent, um, but it's also the people. You know, Venus is one of those planets that real rules not only romantic relationships, but deep relationships in us. Um, and so that means that connecting to the people that really feel like home, that really feel like uh, <laughs> that we have, um, you know, like a sense of family around them. Uh, they bring a sense of comfort. Um, so those people that just really want to embrace you and that great hug, um, you know, those are coming back <laughs> into the mix. Um, and what this can mean with relationships is that we're actually going back into people that we did know and maybe we have recently separated from um, because Cancer, just like the crab that emulates that sign, really doesn't let go of things. You know, it, it once it takes hold, it, um, you know, it may have uh, emotions that shake up the dynamics and stuff, but we find with Cancers that they're kind of always going back into their same 
uh, routines and rhythms. And that also means for the people in their lives, they continually keep them. Um, and so when we're talking about this in a romantic aspect, that means that, you know, past lovers may be reemerging for us right now. Venus isn't in retrograde, but again, that Cancer energy just brings back those people into our life. Um, almost like we're, we're revisiting the past, so to speak. Um, so look out for that stuff. Um, and then Mercury and Leo earlier this week, uh, really, really great placement for that planet. Uh, Mercury loves Leo energy um, because Mercury loves to talk. And <laughs> putting Mercury into Leo uh, really focuses on the self and the things that are important to us. And so we're having a lot of conversations about what do I want? What do I need? Um, me, me, me. And so Leo season is already a very me, me, me season. And now our mind is also tapping into that energy as well because Mercury rules over thought. It rules over the mind, the daily life and structure, um, you know, things like that. And so in our conversations that may lead us to get a little heated, um, maybe a little uh, rambunctious or, um, you know, prone to arguing. Um, but Leo's a little more mature, um, you know, was, tries to take the high road, doesn't always, um, but really it gets its point across. And so I see that as a plus for everybody involved, um, you know, getting your point across, being heard, um, being seen is a really great thing to have and that's coming in just in time for Leo season and so we already feel the spotlight kind of um, making things easier for us understanding where we are in the grand scheme of things uh, where we could be going um, and what we really want deep down and Mercury is a less to move forward we may be having multiple ones as I have personally experienced um, but at least it's, it's coming through. The messages are coming through that, you know, things are happening. They're trying to happen. Um, so listen out for those, um, that'll make it a little easier. And just coming out of this kind of chaotic week as the moon was like right up against Neptune and the moon was in Pisces, um, just like we're seeing this weekend, uh, the moon will be in Aries and then it lines up with Mars and that's its natal planet. So they're making a lot of like natal planetary energies um, intensifying, magnifying these transits that are going on. So um, the energy is a lot more concentrated if you guys haven't already noticed. Um, but yeah, this weekend, Friday, um, not too, too bad. Um, nothing really new. Saturday, moon still in um, Aries, but lining up with Mars, like I just said, um, maybe feeling a bit of a sexual urge um, within. Um, it'll die off pretty quick with Mars energy as everything does, um, you know, but we're gonna be feeling that very physical need. So we need to get stuff out of us kind of in any way possible. Um, so whatever that means to you, I'd say do it in as healthy as a way as possible, you know, definitely keep your mask on, distancing, um, things like that. So stay mindful of that stuff. I know um, Mars energy can make us very irritable if we if we try to sit still with it. And so odds are you're not going to want to take it easy this week. You're want you're going to want to be active, involved in a lot of things. Um, so just be very health conscious in those activities. Um, so. Let's see here, sun and moon are gonna be trining each other. Uh, a good, you know, there's some like light aspects happening this week that is gonna make the week, um, this weekend, that's gonna make the week seem a lot less um, chaotic. Um, so sun and moon are supporting each other in this trine aspect. That's great to see our um, kind of our purpose um, the spotlight of what's going on, what we're focused on, um, is being supported by our emotions. And so we're tapping in internally. So it's almost like, um, you know, our body and our soul are aligning and we, um, we're kind of in sync with ourselves. And so we really like to see that, um, you know, it won't be energy that lasts too long because that moon moves awfully fast, um, but we'll kind of get this sense of knowing ourselves being um, 
at peace with what's happening and really, really focusing on what's important to us because that's what we really want to look at when we're talking about moon and sun energy is the stuff that matters most to us. So if you feel like this weekend, um, you know, that really comes up for you, you're just like, wow, I can see like every side of me right now, I can see what really matters and where I should be you know, in the grant, not in the grand scheme of things, but like where I need to focus on to get to that level of comfort, of safety, of purpose. Um, that's what we're really going to kind of have like a, a, a little moment um, to work with that energy. So that's nice too. Um, so there are some things happening this weekend to try to make this energy a little lighter. I'm not going to say it's going to change the course of everything so far, um, but there is some support in what's going on this weekend. Um, so that's nice, right? So let's see here. Um, around midnight, the moon will be squaring off. Um, moon will be meeting Mars, so that's where they're going to sync up and then that's going to be squaring off everything. So again, sun and moon, um, trining each other is great, but it's kind of like <laughs> almost mixed with this other stuff going on. Um, and with this moon meeting Mars energy, um, you know, kids become more emotional. Um, you know, if you have them or if you're in an area surrounded by kids, uh, watch out for that. Um, they could be just feeling a little chaotic, emotional, um, things just aren't going their way. Maybe they're, they feel like they're being told no time and time again. They're being denied stuff. Um, and that's like, you know, a one way ticket to getting them, you know, to a very destructive place. So, uh, watch out for that. So the sun, sorry, sun day. Uh, Mercury will be trining Chiron. So Chiron, um, if you guys have learned anything about Chiron thus far, it is an asteroid that's very, very big in everybody's chart. So I encourage you to find out where your natal Chiron placement is. Kind of looks like um, a key. Like maybe I could draw it real quick. Let's see. It's kind of like this. It's going to be bad. Um, I think it's, I think it's kind of like this. You see that? It looks like a person like lying down, like a stick figure. <laughs> Sorry, it was really bad. Um, but Mercury trining Chiron um, is promoting a very healing aspect to the conversations that we're having, um, connections from our past, uh, things like that. So we're trying to talk through a lot of the hurt that we've been through up to this point. Chiron really shows us our deep wounds, you know, what we're always trying to keep under the surface, we're not always trying to show other people, you know, is as in Leo season, as with everything in Leo season, we are being exposed and we can either work with that energy and allow the truth to come out and wear it like a badge of honor and heal ourselves, or we resist it and we try to find hiding grounds. We try to keep it under the rug, keep it in the closet, bury those skeletons, and that is not what you want to do right now. Um, I would highly encourage you not to resist being found out in any way that makes you uncomfortable. Um, rise to the occasion in Leo season. You know, wear the truth because the truth shall set you free. Um, I know that sounds very sordid, but um, it's, it's true. Honestly, taking this from a Leo, um, I never have a sense of regret for being truthful. You know, sure, maybe it's insistent or maybe I didn't want to have to say something about myself or have to put myself out there or have to apologize or do something like that. But ultimately, when you put the truth out there, you are holding on to less. And so there's less that you're trying to hide or cover up. Um, there is less that can do damage to you later on when it's it's threatened again to be exposed and there's even more weight on it from you consistently trying to push it to push it back into the drawer into under the rug you know um, it's always seeking to be exposed and so during Leo season we really have to to wear our lives and our experiences on our 
clothing on our ourselves, we have to get it out. And Mercury moving into Leo is really supportive of that. And so it's making those tough conversations, um, those moments of truths a lot easier for us to manage and work with. And so Mercury is kind of like our friend. And so we like to be able to hold our friend's hand when we're doing something um, you know, that we're nervous about or we're scared about. That's kind of what Mercury is. It's supporting us to um, just say and be what we need to be. Um, because Leo season is all about strength. So we're, we're building ourselves up physically, uh, mentally, um, you know, spiritually. That's what we're doing because we have a journey, a road ahead. And Leo is kind of like the deep obstacles and challenges that we're starting to face to get where we really want to go. So it's a very empowering season. Um, it doesn't mean it's all fun and games. Um, but there is a lot of light and healing that comes with this energy just naturally. And so that's really great to see um, with everything that, that just continually happens nowadays, um, you know, in quarantine life, with all the movements going on, with the thing that just happened in Beirut, you know, like there's just chaos rampant right now. And so it's nice to kind of have this um, boost of self, this self-help season that is Leo. And um, it makes us gentler and more inspiring to ourselves. It kind of lifts us up, you know, like we're our own coaches. Or maybe you, you find somebody that can be your coach, you know, Mercury, our connections. Um, so, so good things, um, you know, this is still very, very tough energy. And until it really, really subsides, we're seeing very, very transformational stuff happening around us and the world around us. It's, it's very apparent. Um, so just hold on tight, you know, strengthen yourself up, work on yourself, um, you know, really, really identify who you are and, and what you want from life, you know, this season, if anything, and just like really, really be honest. Um, let that, those honest um, itches, you know, those times where you feel like you need to say something that's on your mind, do it, do it. Trust your instincts this season. Uh, Mars and Aries, again, trust your instincts. So uh, last thing, um, on Sunday, Moon moves into Taurus late Sunday night. Um, so we're gonna see that Aries to Taurus transition. Um, and that will focus us even more on that Venus moving into Cancer. So again, even more money spending, um, you know, hopefully that means better, um, that we're actually obtaining money as opposed to feeding it out, but we are focusing on putting it into the home and putting it on things that give us comfort in this time that feels very uncomfortable. Um, so we're supported by that. And yeah, um, I think that's that's pretty much everything we have this weekend. Um, if you want to know what's going on for the week, uh, please tune in to Tarot with Tyler on Instagram. Uh, follow me there. I'm doing weekly tarot readings for all the signs. You get kind of a snapshot of what's going on with your sign th that week. Um, and if you want your own personal readings, I've updated my website, uh, made it a lot more um, easy to navigate and more informational as a, you know, with the readings and the services that I do. So check that out, uh, tarotwithtyler.com and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay. Take care and try to have fun this weekend.